Hello, I am Elias Bakhata, PhD student at University Mohammed V of Rabat. I have the pleasure to present you our work on the physical, chemical, and thermal characterization of olive pomas. First of all, I would like to present my gratitude to the Research Institute Ulizen for supporting this work via the BioF 2S project. In this presentation, there will be five parts. First, we will have an introduction, then, we will see the material and the methods. After, we will discuss the results of chemical analysis, followed by those of thermal analysis, and finally, a conclusion. To study the valorization of a biomass, several steps are required. It's first necessary to have the idea to use the material, then comes the collect, followed by the characterization, and finally, we can valorize it, valorize it to obtain energy. Our work is included in the characterization phase to investigate whether the olive pumice can be of strong potential for Biomass used in this study was the olive pomace. It was collected from a traditional olive oil extraction unit located in Meknes city. The table summarizes the ultimate analysis of our material and its high heating value. As you can see, it presents an important amount of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, also an important HHV compared to other fuels. Two types of characterization methods are used. Thermal analysis as one parameter, differential scanning calorimetry, thermal parametric analysis, differential thermal analysis, and chemical analysis such as image analysis, scanning electron microscopy coupled with energy dispersive X-ray, the X-ray diffraction analysis, and Fourier transform and flat spectroscopy. The same image shows a heterogeneous structure with different grains. Also, it has a low porosity, which is demonstrated by a few black spots. Thus, the chemical composition map and graph indicate the existence of numerous chemical elements, such as oxygen and carbon. This element constitutes a part of organic matter, which, involved, uh, which is involved in the combustion process. Nevertheless, the other minerals like magnesium, silicon, and aluminium remain in the ashes. For biomass, X-ray diffraction technique is applied to assess the existence of cellulose, which has a high degree of crystallinity, while hemicellulose and lignin are amorphous. The diffractogram of the olive pomace sample highlights a major peak at 2 theta equals 20.7 degrees, which corresponds to cellulose of structure type 2, cellulose 2, called regenerated cellulose. It can be seen that several absorption bands are present in the infrared spectral analyzed sample. Like the stretching vibration of the COC band at uh, 1045 inverse cm. Uh, or the hydroxyl groups of H vibration uh, at 1614 cm or 3416 cm. Or also the asymmetric and symmetric uh, elongation of CH in aliphatic chain. The figure shows an endothermic peak between 15 and 160 degrees C with a maximum around 102 degrees C. This peak corresponds to the release of existing moisture in the sample. On the other hand, the two exothermic peaks at 275 degrees C and 370 degrees C characterize the thermal degradation of the biomass. Within the TGE curve, we can distinguish three parts of the degradation. The first part shows a slight mass drop, which is due to the drying process of biomass. This observation is confirmed by this peak in the DTG curve. In the second part, a large amount of the sample decomposes. This area describes the process of devolatilization. In fact, devolatilization is depicted by three peaks in the DTG curve at 283 degrees C, 398 degrees C, and 474 degrees C related to the decomposition of hemicellulose, cellulose, and lignin. The third part, when begins the fixed carbon oxidation, starts after uh, 480 de degrees C. It's also possible to determine the characteristic combustion parameters from the thermogram, such as the ignition temperature uh, and its corresponding time, the maximum uh, of the, the, the maximum combustion rate, as well as the burnout temperature and time, also the ignition index D and the combustion index S. It can be deduced that olive pomace has a low ignition temperature as of 243 degrees C, 
compared to other biomasses. This means that olive formas require less energy to be ignited. The DTA analysis curve of olive formas contains an endothermic peak corresponding to the drying process between ambient temperature and 150 degrees C. Then we observe three exothermic peaks around 308, 399, and 476 degrees C. These peaks correspond successively to the composition of homicellulose, cellulose, and lignin. This confirms the result deduced from the TGA and the TG curve. To sum up, in this paper we discussed the results of thermal and chemical analysis of olive plants. According to the presented data, we can say that our biomass could be a good candidate for exploitation as a fuel. In this perspective, our next project we focus on thermal valorization of olive plants via the combustion process. Thank you for your attention.